Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Uh, now it's turning into a pretty good looking Veterans Day as we head into, or closer to anyway, this Wednesday afternoon. We had a wonderful day yesterday. I mean, the high temperature 78 degrees until the clouds started to roll in later in the afternoon. Here comes that little light misty rain and the chill that was basically the harbinger of the colder air to come. And sure enough, I mean, we have had it and then some back to life, back to reality. That's what it is. We're back to where we should be for this time of the year. Temperatures in the 50s for highs, and that's, yeah, that's typical for Veterans Day. I will say this, though. Last year, Veterans Day was bitter cold, and on the 12th of, of, of November, tomorrow's, you know, one year from yesterday or from, from tomorrow, that's when we had a high temperature of 22 degrees. So uh, we'll be nowhere close to 22 as far as that goes, it, on the low, let alone the hot. Uh, as we take a look at downtown Owensboro, in all its glory, got a little bit of red color there. Smothers Park, not bad. And then our Zimmer Funeral Home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank, looking out toward the west side of town and the mighty Ohio River. Saw a barge working its way along the riverfront not long ago. And then look at that beautiful blue sky over Henderson now. There's the strip uh, just south of the Twin Bridges. There's a strip of buildings that is downtown Evansville. Loving what I'm seeing. 52 degrees as far as the sunshine goes. Not so much as far as the temperature goes, but typical. North northwest wind at 10 miles an hour. So we've got a bit of a chill out there, courtesy of that wind blowing our body heat away from us. Good to see these temperatures recovering a little bit. Not a lot, though. On the backside of that front that's already moved through, and it moved through last night, it did drop about a quarter of an inch of rain here in Evansville. Not a whole lot more anywhere else. They had some rough weather, though, upstate in Illinois yesterday. A lot of damaging wind reports, even some tornado reports, too, up there. But for us, a lot calmer, uh, although we did have some pretty decent winds out there. 46 degrees in Florida. Can we do a little run? 47 degrees in Fairfield. 48 would be great, but I don't see it. I see 49 in Santa Claus, though. And you can see 48 degrees, Henderson. 54 in Owensboro. 55 degrees right now in Madisonville. And we're going to shout out some veterans. One I've got in particular, uh, because it is Veterans Day. Connie Howard, a friend of the show, and she always sends us wonderful pictures pictures from the west side of town. Uh we're going to shout her husband out in a second, but this we're going to shout out an entire school. Uh, this is St. Boniface. Now, the AMVETS Post 84 uh, wanted to make sure that we knew this because St. Boniface, the students there at that school, they drew pictures and wrote letters uh, to the veterans at AMVETS Post 84. And shout out to those students for doing that for all the veterans. And here's that local veteran, Harris Howerton. That's Connie's husband right there in his military service. He was a military policeman uh, back in the day. Uh, so shout out really not just to Harris, but to all veterans out there for your service that you did for our country. We certainly appreciate that. Uh, live first warning Doppler radar is showing a whole lot of nothing going on. After getting a little bit of rain early this morning, we haven't seen anything since. Quite a bit of rain, though, if you're traveling to the east of the Appalachians, you've got a wall of rain pretty much starting to work its way in. Lexington's still seeing a little bit of rain. They've got a chance for some more rain. Nashville, though, starting to see the last of the rain, maybe a few sprinkles over the next hour or so if you're traveling in that direction. Indianapolis seeing a little batch of clouds, some wraparound behind this front. We're not seeing that we're going to be seeing plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day. Unfortunately, down along the Florida coast, we've got Ada, which is a hurricane now as it continues to ride up the coast. Even though the center of the storm, you can see that the counterclockwise flow in the center is just off the coast. It is still battering the coast with heavy rains and heavy winds. And they've closed the Skyway Bridge in Tampa as a result of those heavy winds and rain. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little closer. You can see that. I mean, really, when you're on the, the right side or basically the east side of a hurricane in this particular instance, that's where the tap is for the moisture. On the back side, it's, a lot of it's coming off land. It's not nearly as bad. So basically, the west coast of Florida is on the worst side you could be on. Uh, the latest on Ada, it is Category 1 hurricane now. It re-strengthened to a Cat 1 earlier this morning. It's packing 75 mile per hour winds. The center of the storm is off the coast. But of course, the coast is being inundated right now. Here's a projected path. It's expected to weaken as it moves a little farther north into some cooler waters and it should make landfall. It looks like it's going to be early tomorrow and that is going to be north of Tampa Bay as it continues to work its way across the northern peninsula of Florida. It is going to continue to weaken but it's still going to be packing some pretty strong winds and a lot of heavy rain. So here we go again for Florida. It made landfall earlier this week along the Florida Keys and now it's going to make a second landfall. Eight has been around for a long time. Good riddance to it after it moves off the coast though. Uh, as we take a look at future tracker for us though, maybe a stray shower or two down to the southeast over the next hour or so. But for the most part, we've seen the last of the rain and we're seeing the sky clear on out. Plenty of sunshine in store for us tomorrow. Just not going to be all that warm over the next few days. But like I said, typical for this time of the year. High today is going to be in the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s. And we see a wind that's going to be from the northwest shifting more to the north at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. Maybe a stray shower or two down to the southeast 
over the next hour or so on this Veterans Day. But for the most part, we're seeing sunshine. It's sunshine tomorrow. Now, Friday morning, we do have a weak cold front moving in. It's going to be a dry front, it looks like. Maybe drumming up a few clouds, but no rain. As we head into the weekend, though, slight chances for rain both days, mainly Saturday night into Sunday. And it will warm up close to 70 degrees on Sunday. But that's nowhere close to where we were the past few days, and that's as warm as it gets for the rest of the week. So get used to 50s and low 60s, Angie, for highs other than that one day on Sunday. Check this out. Crepuscular rays from A.J. Hamilton. Oh, how beautiful. Look at those just Good shooting job. out from the clouds right there. That's at the Davis County bus lot, and that was yesterday morning uh, at sunrise. And I just love those rays just kind of beaming out like that. Pretty cool. It is. It's positively ethereal. Yes, it, yeah, it was, that's a good word to use, ethereal. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this.